Here's a cappuccino for the morning. Morning cat. Pullman in Australia who makes our tampers sent me these awesome new portafilter baskets which I threw in this morning and used and it got me so excited and I didn't do any tests on them or nothing scientific but I was so happy and it got me thinking of user experience and why do we have some of the toys that we have and are we really getting the best bang for our buck when we're buying all these cool new espresso doodads and like what's the deal with a basket? It's just a basket, right? Yes. And no, you could be one kind of barista who gets a new toy like this, like a basket or tamper or whatever, gets the refractometer out, makes hundreds, thousands of shots, measures everything, and that can tell you if it's good or not. I've done that in the past, but that's not really where I'm at right now. The reason that I was so excited to get these baskets was just user experience. We have a Strata AV, La Marzocco Strata AV, and it's got the Strata baskets in it, which are precision baskets but there's a, a little bit of a differential between each basket. They weren't all exactly the same size and I could tell, and the reason that I could tell is because I use one of these big ass tampers in there and I got a little bit of binding with some baskets and no binding with others and it was just kind of frustrating and I had to actually switch back to a smaller tamper. It was an older tamper I had, a little bit smaller diameter because it fit with the basket that I was using. It's not my favorite tamper, but it worked pretty well so I was like, Make an espresso. Espresso tasted great. I was pretty stoked on it. I was like, yeah, this espresso tastes good, no big deal. When I switched to the new baskets and got back to tamping with the big step, it was like my world just changed. The coffee I thought was a little bit better. Now, I didn't do any tests, so I could totally chalk that up to a confirmation bias or just the mindset I was in playing with new toys. But like, even if it was exactly the same, I was just super ecstatic. It's those little intangibles with the things that you use every day that can just make your shift that much better or just that much more lame. And for me, just getting rid of the ridge in the basket, these baskets, they're a ridgeless basket. No ridge on them, nothing like that. Focus, got the Pullman logo on one side. Oh, someone's home. I was making a video. No, I was in the zone though. Vacuum cleaner. Okay, I'm out in the car because it was getting pretty noisy in the house. Uh, what was I even talking about? User experience. I was so excited to have these baskets and get to use my favorite tamp again, even though it didn't really make my coffee taste any better, but it's these little things that you can take joy in. If you're a barista, these are tools that you use every day. Your tamper, you develop this like crazy intimate relationship with it. What? Why? Why? Why is this so special? It doesn't even make any, it's, it's like a really simple tool, right? There's nothing extraordinary about a tamper. It squishes coffee together. You know, this one's got all kinds of tech in it and stuff like that. Yeah, this one's designed to push extraction a little bit higher. They got some stuff on their site that says why, but really it just feels so good to use. It feels right in my hand. I love the rubber on it and you know, different people have different favorite tampers and man, just getting to use that again is awesome. There's some people who diss on stuff. They're like, dude, you spent that much money on that? It's just a piece of metal or whatever. If it's, you know, your car, your bike, whatever. If it gets you stoked and makes you happy, you should just take joy in that. So I got new baskets and I got to use my tamper again and I'm pumped and I don't even care if my coffee tastes better or not. As long as it doesn't taste worse, then we're going in the right direction because it put a smile on my face. See that smile? That's a bad fake smile, but you get what I'm going at. You get what I'm going at. You feel me here. Let's just take a look at the basket. Adam and Mark, they were making these because some of the tolerances on some of the other baskets weren't quite super tight or as tight as they wanted them to be. So this basket is actually perfectly matched for the big step tamper. So if you use a big step or any oversized tamper for that matter, and you need a precision big basket, you should take a look at these. And it's a little bit different than the VST basket, which is real common. I have a VST right here probably gonna be impossible to tell. This one is the Pullman one. This one is the VST. Let me line them up top to top. If you look at the top row of holes, you can definitely tell that the hole pattern is a little bit different. And it's hard to see because I don't have them lined up perfectly right here. The taper looks pretty similar. 
And I think the Pullman basket, these are both 20 gram baskets. I think the Pullman one is just a touch deeper. Um, we got the 22 gram baskets in use in the shop because wanted just a little bit more headroom on some of the coffees where we dose more. But yeah, Pullman basket, so that's fun new stuff. I've also got a new-ish tamper that I haven't shown you guys yet. It is a big step, but it's a little bit different. The guys whipped it up for me. Got my name on there, a little Baca version 1.0. So the biggest difference between this and the standard one is the piston here. So I like my piston milled a little bit more thin just because it feels a little bit better. So here's a regular big step. This, by the way, is the Canon G7X Mark II. I sold a guitar to get it, and the uh, face detection autofocus is almost too good. So you can see it's several mils thinner in the piston than the stock big step. This one's a stock right here. And it just gives it like a little bit of a lighter feel. It just feels more comfortable in my hand, and then I use my fingers a lot like that, and the transition from pinching it here just feels really good. Cause I'll go in and then kind of slide out and feel like that. And I like this little bit here. This also feels good. There's just a lot more, a lot more girth there. They also milled this one out of a little bit of a different kind of steel, but I can't remember anything about it. It's a little bit lighter than this one just because the piston's a little bit thinner. Oh yeah, another thing I asked for on this was no insert in the top. So it's just powder coated aluminum on the entire handle. For me, it was like a little bit of a cleaner look. And then powder coated the adjustment ring white. So I got a few different adjustment rings that are all powder coated white. This I think is the right height set for me right now. It's not the thinnest ring. I think it might be the fattest one. This is like the medium one. And that's it. I just want to get all stoked out on my new toys and share it with you guys. I'm working on a couple different kinds of uploads, so I'm gonna try to switch my upload schedule from Wednesday to do Monday and Thursday in the next few weeks, like a smaller video on Monday, something real short that I can edit real quick, and then a bigger one on Thursday, but we'll see. It's been really, really busy and crazy, and I barely have time for anything since the shop's been open. It's just been like going bananas. But if you see a video pop up on Monday and it's like a minute long, that means it's in the game, and maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment, trying to just cramming too much work, too little time, but I'm excited. Love doing it, love the videos. It keeps me amped and tuned in, and you guys are the bomb. I'm gonna catch you on the flip side. Peace.